Hi, and welcome to The Examined Life. And today I'm going to talk to you about the biggest myth about narcissists. Well, it's the biggest myth according to me anyway. Because I keep hearing this particular topic come up, or this people declare this, and whenever I hear it, I'm like, no, that's not my experience. Believe me. And that particular, okay, so the biggest myth in, in my opinion is that narcissists don't go to therapy. Okay, the truth is that overt narcissists rarely go to therapy because they don't, you know, they don't think there's anything wrong with them. Overt narcissists. But the covert narcissists, the ones who play the victim, they do go to therapy. And that's one where one place where they can get narcissistic supplies from the therapist. Regardless of whether the therapist is a narcissist or not. Okay, you can have two narcissists feeding off of each other. And a narcissist the a ther- a narcissistic therapist will often keep a ther- a client in therapy for quite a while just to to, to feed off of them. Um So, um, I had a friend, she is definitely a narcissist. She's not an overt narcissist, she's a covert narcissist, but she's been diagnosed as bipolar and, and yeah, mostly depressed and bipolar, but she's a flat out narcissist, covert narcissist, and she, be, she had been in therapy on the antidepressants and all that stuff for at least 15 years going around in circles on the same crap over and over again yeah so that I mean it's it's she was definitely a, a narcissist in that whenever I talked to her at by the time the conversation was over she had hijacked the conversation number one which is a very it's a a, a red flag of a narcissist they hijack the conversation at the end of the day it's always about them and I always felt manipulated at the end of the conversation when I said goodbye to her I'm like I hung up the phone and it's like when you're in it you don't recognize it you know and it's it's always 2020 hindsight with the narcissist and by the time it was over I had to ref- I would hang up the phone I'd be walking home and I'm like was I just freaking manipulated <laughs> it just kind of hit me you know like a little ton of bricks I'm like, I, just, I was just freaking manipulated. She manipulated me again. What the frick? You know? <laughs> and it, 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 I just let her get away with it on several occasions because... Um, but I, tr- I tried to stay away from her for a long time. She would call me when she needed me. Um, this is a this is a really interesting story. I should I will tell you on another video when when it's appropriate. But I will say that she spent fifteen years in therapy, um, as depressed and bipolar and all that stuff. But she was a narcissist. She had all the earmarks of a nar- uh, covert narcissist. Um. I've met tons of narcissistic people who are in groups, support groups. Um, They dominate the whole conversation. You you have like five people um, in a group, maybe five people in this little support group. And you got maybe one hour to to have everybody do a check-in kind of thing. And they dominate half of that, half of the whole hour with their stuff, you know. And by the time that's over, not you don't get a chance to say nothing. Yeah. So, and if you don't, and if you bring it up and you tell them, oh, you know, you're taking up a little bit too much time, they get offended. And they get offended and they say, well, oh, well, I didn't find that, that you guys were very supportive to me. We gave you like three times, th- three uh, sessions, you had the whole floor for three sessions. And then if we tell you to reel it in a little bit, then you get all upset over it. You know, that's a narcissist right there. And then she would sit there and talk about how her mother was a narcissist. Well, that's a clue. <laughs> that's a clue right there. So that's the thing. 
um, when you when they when you when the narcissists go into therapy, they will listen to what the therapist has to say to them, but they they won't necessarily take it do anything with it because then they would have to change who they are. Narcissists don't change, so. They just sit there and they go around in circles and they absorb the attention that the therapist gives them. That's what it comes down to. So do the do the so the answer to the question: Do therapists go to 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 therapy? Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. Thanks for thanks for listening, and uh, please subscribe. And if you like to have any questions or or like to make any comments, please do at the bottom and. Um, I will see you on another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.